Do I regret my transition? People who ask this seem to be asking different, more probing questions without really daring to. Do you regret changing your name? Do you regret leaving the gendered place where loved ones had known you and loved you? Do you regret your voice changing? Do you regret your hair thinning? Do you regret the new hair growing? Those kind of things. This is a very, very, very difficult thing to talk about. So I'm gonna do my best to sum up here. Here's what I regret and here's what I don't regret. I do not regret my name, not either of them. I regret you who refuses to believe that the feminine name I was given is not feminine on me. I regret you and your fucked up ideas and the way that they have separated me from the name my mom gave me. I regret the way that you continue to do so every time I go outside. I do not regret my button downs, my baseball caps, my ties, my loose fitting jeans, my leather jacket or my muddy boots. I regret you, who does, who does not see these things as women's clothes. I do not regret my voice, my beautiful, queer, canyon voice, which is always changing anyway. I am unashamed to be a female with a deep voice. I am ashamed of the way that you answer phones. I am ashamed of the way you sir and ma'am the pitch of a sound. I am ashamed of how unable you are to distinguish between a voice that is deep and a voice that is masculine. I am ashamed of your belief that a deep voice is inherently unfeminine. I do not regret my short cropped hair. I love it. But I regret Rapunzel and Sleeping Beauty and Princess Leia. I regret growing up with no concept of self-worth outside of my sexual appeal. I regret the kind of sex and sexuality that most people find appealing. I regret that you obviously find my haircut and my femaleness to be in contradiction to one another. I do not regret growing new hair. I have a relationship with each one. My skin has been like a garden for me, filling me with wonder and surprise from one year to the next. I am unashamed to be a female with facial hair and body hair, but I regret that you seem to think that hair is something that belongs to a male body. I don't regret anything really, except for you and your sexism and your bullshit ideas. 